friends, this week we're talking about the ocean. I'm going to show you how to make this really cool ocean squish bag. So all the things that you need, you'll need a plastic bag. You can make, even use one of the snack bags that's half this size. Some hair gel or bath soap. If it's not blue, you can use food coloring to make it blue. And because I'm at home and I'm working with what I have, I have some goldfish crackers. These aren't going to last long in your hair gel or your bath soap because they're going to crunch as soon as you squish the bag and they're going to dissolve because they're food. But if mom and dad are going to the store to get the hair gel, because I don't think everybody has this at home, if you're going to get the hair gel, you can always go to the dollar store and get little seashells or uh, decorative seashells or little plastic animals that you can put in your bag. So see, once I squish my bag, this fishy's going to squish. So if you're going to squish them a lot, you might want to put something other than the goldfish crackers in there. Something plastic would probably work best. Won't pop the bag. All right, so I have my bag. I'm going to open my bag. Make sure it's open. I'm going to put it down on the table. You might need mom or dad to help with this because it can get a little messy if you don't have your bag open all the way. I have my hair gel. I'm going to open it up. I'm not going to fill my bag all the way because we're not really going to play with this at my house because it has the fish crackers in it. So I'm just going to show you. You're just going to squeeze the hair gel in. It's going to make funny noises. Everybody always laughs when it squeezes and it makes that noise. It's gotten Allah's attention too. She wants to know what I'm doing. So you got to shake it up a little bit to get that down there. I don't have a whole lot in here. All right, I'm going to leave it at that amount. Like I said, if I had plastic fish and animals, maybe some decorative shells, and the people at my house were going to squeeze and squish this, I'd fill it up more because this is not a lot of hair gel. But no one at my house is going to play with this because I'm putting fish crackers in it, so I don't need to fill it up all the way. So you've got your bag of gel. You're going to put your little fish crackers in or your plastic fish or your seashells. You want to smush it around a little bit. You want to Flatten it on the table and squish all the air out. So have mom or dad help with this too, or maybe an older brother or sister. Because then you have to close the bag. You have to seal it. You don't want any a lot of air in there because it will pop the bag. So if you are going to make this and you plan on squishing it for a long, for more than five minutes, mom or dad can also take some packaging tape or duct tape or even just regular tape, the um, masking tape kind, you're going to want to tape this bag shut. You can fold it down and layer the tape around. That will keep it from, if you squish too much, it will keep the bag from popping open at the seal. So here is our bag, our squishy bag. And really, because I didn't put a whole lot in and it's not super blue, I could put blue, blue food coloring in here and make it more blue. But... There's our little squish bag. So now you know how to make an ocean squish bag. And I look forward to seeing all of your ocean squish bags. Bye, friends.